I love our president. President Trump is in Davos, Switzerland right now. And folks, he is just kicking backside, taking names, and he is truly making America great again. This and more on PZTV. Hi folks, my name is Ray Gano and I thank you so much for tuning in here to PZTV. I am so impressed with our president. It's, I mean, I just don't know how to explain myself, how to express myself. I love President Trump and what he's doing. I am so sick and tired of these naysayer Christians out there saying, Oh, he's the Antichrist and he's this and he's that. Poo on you, man! He is doing great things for our nation, and I, I, I don't get it. I mean, folks, I've been living outside the country now for four years. I lived in third world countries. I mean, okay, Costa Rica, pretty nice, great place to have a vacation, but, you know, living there every time like that, it's okay. Panama, same thing, it's okay. But you know what? It ain't America. And you know what? I am glad to be back in America again, and I am so proud to have a president who will stand up, kick rear, take names, and just, you know, do the job, man. He is making America great again, and I love it. Well, President Trump is in Davos, Switzerland right now, and and he is just pushing. I mean, going through, you've probably, probably seen on Fox News and stuff like that, we want peace and prosperity. I mean, he is just pushing a hardcore mes message, looking for investors and encouraging people to come invest in America again, make America great again, and to build bigger and better trade deals. I mean, he is truly putting America first. And you know what? The New World Order folks don't like it at all, and they don't know what to do about it. President Trump arrived in Switzerland, and he just was, boom, bull in a china shop, folks. And it was great. He's been telling reporters, we want great prosperity, and we want great peace. He will push his America First agenda and seek more fair, reciprocal trade between U.S. and its allies. That's the way it's done, folks. But what's been happening for the past 20, 30 years is this socialist mindset that, oh, we all need to play together and we all need to, to share and share alike and, and we all need to be equal. And No, you know, you don't, as we've seen today, folks, when you're having this socialist, oh, everybody's on the same playing field mentality, nah, it don't work then what happens is everybody stops trying. Everybody starts, you know, if that person is just doing substandard work, why can't I do substandard work? He is truly pushing a, a great agenda and a great Make America Great Again. Uh, he met with uh, Prime Minister Theresa May, and I know they've been having a little bit of friction there and stuff, but Theresa May is kind of, <laughs> you know, okay, President Trump. You know, he, he canceled their meeting. Yeah, he was supposed to go to England and stuff and uh, canceled on her. It's like, fine, you don't want to play my game? Fine. You know, you, who cares? And that kind of miffed um, Theresa May. So now she's kind of, you know, I need to, you know, play play nice with Trump. And so that was nice. Now, a wonderful great thing is that he also met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, and they spoke for a little bit, but both of them, I mean, in fact, Netanyahu himself specifically made a point to, to thank Trump for ne recognizing Jerusalem as uh, the capital and, and everything of Israel. As far as I know, the plans are still moving forward to, to put a consulate there in Jerusalem and everything, which is again big news this is big stuff and the world does not like it because they do not want to recognize Israel and folks this is this is this is a huge trip and and you need to pay attention to what's going on in Davos he is just going in and taking it we we learned in the past that you know when he was a business man, he was never invited to Davos but yet this is where all the millionaires and billionaires and even Rick Warren's been invited to Davos you know but He's never been invited, but he is also the first president to go to Davos since Bill Clinton did back in 2000. This is a big trip, this is a big deal, and he is truly making America great again. I love my president. I love what he's doing. I am behind it 100%, and all these people out there, you know, just pooing on him, 
You don't know what you're talking about, man. Go live in a foreign country like I did for four years and then come back and you'll appreciate what we got here. We have a wonderful country and I'm not saying anything bad about the time. You know, it was a great time. God used us. I loved it and everything, but it's good to be back in the United States and it is truly a great country to be in, to live in, to raise your family in and I am all behind it and I'm all behind President Trump. You go get him, President. But folks, I want to encourage you to take the time to please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. There's a little red button right there. Hit it. Become a subscriber to PZTV. Help support our channel. I need more people so that I can get raised up higher in the YouTube ranks. I'm getting emails from YouTube saying that, one, I can't earn money because I don't have enough viewers. And two, I can't do this because I'm too small of a channel. So, folks, I need to grow, and I need your help. So, please, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, and also, give me a thumbs up. And while you're at it, give me a comment. Do you like President Trump and what he's doing? How do you feel about his job and what he's doing for our country today? Do me a favor and write it in the comments. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you're thinking. So, go ahead, please, do me a favor. Good or bad, let me hear your comments about what you think about President Trump. So, folks, I just really thank you for, for tuning in today. I thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this show, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and commenting. I really appreciate it. Folks, I just want to know, I want you to have a great day today. Goodbye, God bless, and Maranatha.